Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. This is just going to be a quick supplementary video. This is part of the activation and chakra meditation from the book, The Great Human Potential, Walking into One's Own Light. And because the, the episode we did yesterday is over an hour I thought that I would just take the simple meditation part out and do a separate video for those of you who are doing these meditations so you don't have to listen to the full video now with that being said the full video will be down in the description box below if you would like to listen to the full video there is more information in that particular video as to why we are doing this chakra meditation now this chakra meditation only does the second, third, fourth, and fifth chakra. It leaves out the first, the sixth, and the seventh, and this is for a particular reason. It's to help heal your chakras from persecution, whether that be in past lives or present lives. Now it was always just me saying this as Bryce, as a um, person who does this for a job outside of YouTube, I am also going to recommend that this just be supplementary to the shadow work and the work that you are all already currently doing as far as like exercise, yoga, any type of being barefoot on the ground, that type of grounding is only supplementary. It does not count as a full practice. This is because as we all know, as I've said many times before, in order to heal yourself, you have to face yourself. So you need to be doing things that are gonna trigger memories within your fascia, within your energetic subtle body. So that includes things like intense exercise. This is why all the ancient mystery schools and spiritualities required their initiates to do exercise, to be uncomfortable. Spirituality is 100% about getting uncomfortable. You have to be tough in order to take a spiritual path, the initiate's path. So with that being said, just so you understand that this should only be done as supplementary, this should, this should just complement the work that you're already doing. Now the Pleiadians in this channeling are going to tell you to put your feet on the ground. I am going to suggest that you do this barefoot. The shoes that we wear today have rubber on the soles and that rubber can cause some problems within the energetic response moving up through the soles of the feet, the roots of the feet. Now, if you want to do this barefoot and outside, go ahead and do that. If not, just get barefoot in your house. I also do, if you've never done anything like this before, I do want to remind you that each chakra represents a certain energy cycle. So for people who have experienced other traumas beyond persecution, please don't be surprised if you feel triggers coming up, if you feel uncomfortable at some, at some point, especially revolving around the second chakra, which is creativity and sexuality. So any type of trauma in that area might resurface. And um, that's okay. We, we want it to resurface. We want to face it. We don't want to ignore it. What we resist will absolutely persist and get bigger and bigger and bigger. So another note though, if this becomes extremely overwhelming, please seek out help, whether that be in the form of a licensed therapist, I myself have done trauma therapy, it was amazing, or through a healer or a teacher, whoever you feel more comfortable with, please seek out help when processing these traumas. So with that being said, go ahead and get yourself set up in whatever position you wish to be in, whether that be outside, standing barefoot on the grass, or in your home. Start to bring your awareness and your attention to your breath. If it's possible, I would like for you to breathe your inhales and your exhales solely through your nose. 
If this is not possible for you in this moment, that is fine. You are welcome to mouth breathe. Just note that mouth breathing can cause some stress in the nervous system. And the nostrils, the left and the right nostril, represent different energetic sides of the body. The left nostril being feminine, the right nostril being masculine. Starting to calm the breath down, understanding that the breath itself is a moving simulation of life that connects you to the deepest parts of your subconscious thoughts and of course into that nervous system. Before we get into the reading, I want you to bring your mind's eye into your body. I want you to recognize your spine. See if you can follow your spine all the way down to the pelvic floor. If it's difficult for you to get your focus to go into the pelvic floor, that's okay. Just be aware of it. That's part of programming from religion. And every day, just make a point to work on bringing that awareness down into that area of your body. I want you to see or visualize a white light that runs up and down your spine. Starting at the base of your spine and moving up through the back of the neck and up through the top of the head. This is the pranic life force running through you. This shashumna, the main nadi of the body, is the tunnel of energy that moves through all of the chakras. Bringing yourself deeply into your own awareness, into the own spirit of your personal life force. Taking an inhale, taking an exhale. Maybe you can feel the heart beating. If you've already done your exercises today, maybe you can feel the blood pumping, that sacred DNA, that natural expression of your life force moving in and out of your body, cleansing the body. And now let's hear from the Palladians. Regaining power through chakras. What we would like to do right now are some visualizations and activations. They are short but powerful, and you can refer to them at any time. We are doing this in a slightly different order. And just before the activation, we are going to weave the chakras together so that they will be connected. We want to get you empowered to express yourself. And that means linking the second chakra of creative energy up through the fifth chakra of physical expression of that creative energy. Many of you have creative ideas, thoughts, or opinions that originate in the second, third, and fourth chakra. But you have a difficult time expressing them in the world. This is a result of persecution. The first and seventh we will omit for the purpose of this exercise, but you can include them at a later date if you so wish. We are not necessarily working from the bottom to the top with your chakra system. You can do it as you are reading or at another moment. Start by putting your feet flat on the floor. The solar plexus. Envision yourself in a beautiful cocoon of white light. See it infused with a golden hue that represents your soul's essence. This beautiful light grounds and connects you to your body. Now, begin to imagine this beautiful light swirling around you. Begin to see it move in a counterclockwise direction. As you feel this energy begin to stabilize, Begin to move the energy all the way through the body, through every cell, through every molecule. Now coming towards you across the horizon, you see a beautiful golden yellow light. 
This light is entering through the front and back of your solar plexus, just above the navel. See this beautiful light nourishing your body, healing all of the cells with its luminance. As you inhale, it moves deeper into each and every cell of the body. As you exhale, just observe what is released. Is it more light? Is it dark or murky? If it is, it's quite all right. You are simply letting go, just be observant. Sacral area. Now envision a bright orange light coming into the second chakra just below the navel. This beautiful orange light nourishes your creativity. You have a direct connection to source. Move that orange energy through your entire body. See it growing brighter and stronger as you inhale. And as you exhale, observe what energies you are releasing. Throat Chakra. For this chakra, we want you to envision a beautiful blue light, clear as a blue sky. See this energy pouring in, coming once again across the horizon. See it entering into the front of the throat chakra and into the back of the energetic center. With each breath in, it grows brighter and stronger. You can see the richness of color. As you exhale, allow all of the stress and worry to drift from your body. Just let it go. Heart Center. For this one, you can choose your color, pink or green. We want you to see the energy coming in and intensifying in the area of your heart center. As you inhale, it grows brighter and stronger. As you exhale, allow yourself to release anything that does not belong to you and no longer serves you. Now our work will be to weave together these chakras. Start to see the beautiful threads of golden energy weaving through your energy centers. You are starting to weave the second chakra. See the golden light moving all the way up to the third chakra, all the way up to the heart center, and then connecting with the throat chakra. See these golden threads weaving once again back down through the throat, through the heart, down through your solar plexus and into the second chakra. Say to yourself out loud, I, your name, have created wisdom within myself. I am divine expression. I have knowledge and wisdom. Today, I stand in my full light and I now have the strength and clarity of expression. Keep seeing these threads passing through all the chakras. Now we are going to do one last visualization. See a silvery white light moving up through your energetic centers. It is very bright and is coming up from the core of the earth. This light is moving up through your feet, spinning in a counterclockwise direction. See it coming up through your legs, around your hips, through your abdomen, around your lungs and your throat, going up around the jaw, the temples and the crown of your head. Finally, see this light going out and all the way up into the celestial realms to the center of the galaxy. We are going to end with an activation say out loud or to yourself in this time and in this space my full power i now embrace then envision a white flame at your feet going all the way up to the crown of your head as you inhale feel yourself completely rooted in your body feel yourself strong and energized 
and then starting to bring your awareness back to the breath. As you come out of meditation, any form of meditation, it is always very important to slowly bring your senses back to the world around you. You might feel a little bit more relaxed now, so you don't want that nervous system to be triggered by coming out too fast. Maybe start to stretch your fingers, wiggling your fingers, stretching your toes. If your eyes were closed, slowly start to open your eyes. Maybe take a few stretches if you need to, to get yourself back into the world around you.